Derek from Classic Game Room. Listen, kind of a slow day around here, not a lot going on. In fact, I just don't, the, the truth is I don't feel like playing any video games. That's fact number one. Fact number two, uh, most of the games I always play are, are terrible. You can understand why number one exists. Number three, I actually forgot. There was something I wanted to show you guys a long time ago. And I was going through some stuff here at the here at the, the office and, it, and I found this and I remembered, oh shit. I never showed this to you guys, and I really wanted to, and uh, so I thought today I'd take a minute and show it to you because I think you guys would enjoy it. Anyway, without further ado, here it is. Look at this. It's classic art room. Classic art room. Undertow. C A R undertow. Car under. Car undertow sounds like a bad thing that you would take to a garage to get fixed, and they would charge you far out the ass for it. Hopefully Kevin spent less on this. You guys remember Kevin, or at least those of you who've been watching the channel for a long time do. He was here during the early years. Uh, he was actually the first video editor on the channel. So he was the first guy whose job it was to take all my videos and make sense of them and edit them together. Obviously, that's a that's a tough job, and uh, his sanity didn't last very long before he, he gave up on that. Uh, but he also did some videos while he was here. He's a cool guy. And uh, Kevin and I are actually still good pals, and for my birthday, uh, either this year or last year, I don't even, it might have been last year. Um, Kevin got me this. He got me, he knew how big of a Nintendo fan I am. So he got me an original piece of really cool Samus artwork uh, for my birthday. And I forgot to share it with you guys and I feel genuinely bad about that. Actually, I don't. So this is actually just the print. Uh, I took it out of the frame to show you guys here today. Uh, but this is really cool. I mean, check this out. It was actually done by an artist named Drew Green. Um, and again, I think this was a couple years ago, so I don't know if he's still active. Uh, you can look him up online. I'm sure he has like an Etsy store and stuff. Um, but anyway, I really dig his style. Um, and he does, a, I think, he, or at least he did. Again, I don't know. Um, but I think he did a lot of different video game Nintendo related things. And I love the style that he chose for this. This is actually called Metroid 25th Anniversary. And he did this to uh, obviously celebrate Metroid's 25th anniversary. And what I really like about this is obviously a, a lot of things, but the first thing is just his color use is really good. The backgrounds are just a lot of gray, a couple little, like a little bluish gray, very subtle, a lot of gradients going on. Um, but what it does is Samus and the Metroid really pop out because of it. Obviously they're the attention grabbers, they're the focal, the focal point. Um, and it's the coloring of the background uh, and the shadows and stuff that really contribute to that. So it's really good color use. And also I just, I really like his style. It's It's got like, I mean, I don't know if it's like the way the hills are done, and again, the gradients in the sky. But it almost reminds me a little bit of like the backgrounds in Samurai Jack. Um, and kind of his style, the way he's done Samus too, reminds me of uh, a lot of the, like like if this were a drawing, it kind of has like that late 90s animation style that um, looks really stylized. I don't know, it's really cool. I, I just really like uh, his approach to this. I think it's beautiful. He gave Samus these really big eyes, really cool, really expressive. I mean, she looks absolutely like, <laughs> she looks mortified that there's this Metroid on her head, and it wouldn't be. I mean, Jesus. First off, you're in a place like this, you're gonna be on edge to begin with. Then one of these floating brains sticks to your head and starts to drain the energy out of you? That's not, that's not something you're gonna not make that face over. And actually, another really cool thing about the lighting is that there's a distinct difference here between, like, the artificial light sources and the natural ones. Uh, and it really makes the artificial ones seem even weirder because they really have this, like, fluorescent luminescence that just looks very unnatural. Um, so as you can see, like like the, the light sources on her suit and in the background and on her visor, even the tiny little dots here, they really resonate and they're very, very bright. Um, and again, they they almost glow off of the off of the paper. And that's what another cool thing is that the Metroid has that quality to it as opposed to the natural light. You know what I mean? Like it, this looks unnatural, even though it's a natural creature, which is a really cool kind of dynamic um, that he created with uh, just 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 the right kind of lighting in his in his work. That's really cool. And actually, this one's signed by Drew too. So anyway, Drew, if you're watching and you happen to see this, I'd like you to know uh, that I got a piece of your art for my birthday. I don't remember when. That's more of a reflection of my terrible memory than your art because I think your art is great. I think this is fantastic, uh, and I've seen some of your other art online. I think you're a talented dude, and you should keep it up. So, do you guys have any really cool custom Metroid art like this that you'd like to share? Let us know in the comments. Maybe tweet us, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it on Twitter, at CGR Undertow. I love, like, custom art like this. Nintendo should do more stuff like this. They should hire artists to do, like, original interpretations of their characters. 
Actually, what they should do is hire game developers to make Metroid games. That might be a good first step. It might be nice to have, I'd like, no offense, Drew, I'd like another Metroid game, and I would give this up to have it. But I still like this very much. It's Metroid 25th Anniversary by Drew Green. Give me another Metroid game, Nintendo! What do I have to do? Is my money not good enough for you? All I'm telling you to do is go to Retro Studios, lock everyone in that building in a dark auditorium, lock the door, put on the Alien, the original Alien movie, staple their eyelids shut and make them watch it in the dark, and then say, okay, now make a Metroid game. Do you realize how great that would be?